They're oh, they started with castles. Oh my god. Okay, people, this is gonna be crazy. Uh, get ready for explosions. All right, we've done exploding kings, and then we also did three exploding kings, and this is the second time we're trying that. Uh, regicide is a game mode where you need to keep usually your singular king alive, otherwise you are defeated. And so we thought it'd be interesting if the players kind of had three lives. You could use one of the kings offensively to explode someone else's stuff. There's there's decisions to make, okay? So uh, on the bright side, um, they have castles to start with, so that makes things interesting. And we have lands nomads, so the players will start all in different positions. I will introduce them in just a second, but I will say this right here, right now. Keep your kings in different positions. I think that is safe to say. Maybe spreading them out, even though it will look threatening, would be the way to play it. Now, um, from what I've heard, the explosions of the kings are still severe to kill units. Maybe severe enough to take out a town center. But multiple kings will apparently not fully take out a castle. So, with adding three explosions, we didn't want it to be too intense. Which is what the singular exploding kings will do for us. And, uh... Sully says it's Diplo. We have to re, right? No, no, no. You don't have to re. You don't have to restart. Hold on. You don't have to re. Okay, I just messaged him, so he does have to re. They accidentally started it with teams. So they had pre-established teams, but you're able to change that. Now, guys, the reason that I brought Sully in here, the reason this yellow player is here, is because three months ago, the Oops, I Nuked Myself video came out. And I, that was when he there was one exploding king, and someone went strolling by his TC, and he garrisoned and shot it, forgetting there would be an explosion. So he straight up nuked himself and then died. Uh, and so I thought it'd be funny to bring him in here when there's three kings. But I, I need to pay attention because I believe someone could lose all their eco. And right here... Wait, no, that's an actual goat. What happened? Oh, that! That is it. Green detonated a king, or maybe his king got shot down. And here we have Krakenmeister, and Krakenmeister runs away. And good for him that he does. And that's an early example of how much damage these explosions do. So the castle's down to half HP. His TC actually survives. And I have to say, respect to Krakenmeister, because that could have been so much worse for him as he had to evacuate. Green, thank you for that, by the way. I really wanted to see someone do it early. I have to imagine... No, wait a second! Wait a sec- I need to pause for this. Okay, listen. This is a live game. There's a lot of stuff happening. I do not believe that was intentional from that player. This is what I think happened. So, since this started off with normal teams, if players have not allied certain individuals, scouting kings will be shot down. So I don't think Green intentionally did that. Green was actually allied to Red. But Green was scouting. Red had him set on enemy because that was the default when the game started and it hasn't been changed. And then it got shot. Okay, that was a mouthful. But that means that <laughs> if anyone comes over here, like Orange, is he allied with Orange? Oh god, he's enemy to Orange! He's enemy to Orange, you can't make this up! Bro! Sally, Sally might honestly let it die. Because, like, is this not good if it goes down? Uh, and now Red's like, what do I do? And he says, orange, leave. No, no, no. You don't want him to leave. Trust me. No! Intentional guys. This poor guy is so confused. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, he garrisoned, I think, to save <laughs> to save his villagers. And so it shot the king. Oh my god. Okay, so he's still in it. <laughs> this is his first community game, guys. He literally just said in the Discord, this is my first time. And I'm, I'm stressed out or something like that. Oh. Woo. Yeesh. I have to say, his reaction time is really good. And this is really all of Sully's fault. And now he knows. Okay. So, Sally didn't actually want to do that. And Sally, to his credit, said, you need to ally me. So, 
Holy crap. Ooh, I'm crying, man. That was... <laughs> that was a crazy start. So now Sally is, uh, is down the two kings, and Red's like, well, hopefully T90 didn't see that. But thankfully for, for uh, Red, he had enough wood for a lumber camp. And now he can place a new TC, and now he can just kind of start over. My brother is the sheriff from New Zealand, says David. So you're, you're saying that you, this is your bro here? Did he text you to watch this? Did he tell you he got in? He said it was his first community game as well. Sally says, I really didn't want to, but I had to get out. Or I had to stay in minimum range. And Red says, I said get out. Yeah, but Red, if he ran, Red probably doesn't realize this. As he's now so scared of the world, he's going to go to the corner. If he ran, his king would have been shot by your castle, and you would have met the same fate. So Sally tried to avoid it. I truly believe Sally did, because he got underneath the castle. And Blue says, Sally bore... Is I guess, like, I don't know. They're pretty close to each other over here. But Sally is down to two kings. One in the castle and one in the TC. And as I was saying at the start, I really think it's good to spread out your eco and then spread out your kings as well. Sally says, you can have it. And Sally, if you've never seen The Legends of Texas, which you should put on your must-watch right now, I think it was pre-definitive edition, so the graphics are probably hard to follow for everyone who likes DE now, but... It's still a banger. Uh, Sally's very good with Diplo. Red says, oh, so I wasn't even talking to anyone 11. <laughs> oh, Red, it's been one of those starts, buddy. It's been one of those starts. But it's okay. It can't get worse from here for him, right? Can't get worse. Oh, God, hold on a second. Keep in mind, Teal's about to hit Feudal. So what you can do is in this... You, after you get a market, you'll have cartography. So you'll be able to see where all your allies are. And you can still explode your allies. No, Teal, don't. Giovanni, don't do this. Red has his kings inside that TC. Now, from what we've seen, I don't think one king explosion would actually be enough to kill those kings. Sally says, so Red, I'll help you because I feel sorry. And he's, he's saying that only to Red. That's Sally for you. Meanwhile, Tactical Tea Time says, how is everyone doing? Let me do the introduction. Sorry, it was a very eventful start. In the South, we have Krakenmeister playing as the Japanese. In the Teal, we have Giovanni playing as the Turks. Very good uptime for him. I have to say, he's on his way to Castle Age already. Um, in the Purple, we have Tactical Tea Time, who we just mentioned, who slaps. In the, uh, in the Yellow, we've got Sully. Sally playing as the Huns. In the blue over here, we've got Adam. I'm just going to say Adam. I think that's easier. Adam playing as the Khmer. Um, in the orange, we have Sally, previously introduced. Sally's playing as the Vietnamese. In the green, we've got Nanaki, who's now down a king. And I'm... Wait, is it possible that he's down two kings? I... I'm really confused. Oh, there's another one moving, and I'm going to put that on a control group. Okay, glad we spotted that. Playing as the Bulgarians, by the way. And then in the gray, we have the Sheriff, who apparently has his brother in chat rooting for him right now. No pressure, Sheriff. Playing as the Franks. Green says, a bit stressed, but fine. And purple says, I feel that green, just deep breaths. Blue says, guys, you don't need buildings. You have a castle, just saying. Not that it happened to me. That's funny. But that's also not true at all. <laughs> and Red says, yeah, but I don't have a castle. So, guys, that's not true. So, a castle would not help you get to Feudal Age. You still need your Feudal Age buildings. But Blue is Khmer. So, Blue thinks that the castle helps, but really, Khmer do not need the prerequisite buildings before going up to the next age. Now, your castle is a castle age building, and with one castle, you can go straight up to Imp. It's, so it applies in castle age, but it doesn't apply in feudal age. Red's fine here. Red's fine. The toughest thing for me as a caster is tracking everything, uh, especially when there's three kings. So hopefully we will see the, the blinking uh, unique units. You probably noticed that when the king's deleted or killed, 
there's unique units, and that just makes it a little easier to see. Blue says, to everyone, I am going here. And his king is also weak. So that could have been a similar run-in at the start. Green's, green is playing with fire, man. I, he already lost one king. But everyone's allied to him now. He says, I am going here. Want to discuss peace with other kings? Join me. <laughs> oh, I love this. That's actually, that's great. I really hope someone else sends their king out there. And Sally says, sounds like a lovely discussion. I'll join. Wow. And Sally only has two of them. Okay. Interesting. Absolutely loving how Sully, not to be confused with Sally, is playing this. We have a TC over here. Oh, I thought that was going to be a TC. He's got goats in the corner. Um, He's got a TC here. He's spread out. His kings are all kind of together, but again, it's going to be hard to lose your castle. So so the thought process of expanding your eco is good because you could lose so much eco in one explosion. And here's the peace talks. Teal, do you want to be friends? I'll pay 200 gold for trade. Wow, that is very tactical. And I suppose it would be rather diplomatic to have some tea with someone as well there. Sheriff says, Green, talking only to you. We are neighbors. Let's fight together. Yes. Are we early to the party? I guess. Oh, oh, Sally is, is mentioning the fact that no one else has showed up. Teal says, we are friends, but I don't know who Teal exactly is talking to. And... <laughs> Sally says, scouts, run! There's scouts out here from the sheriff. Sheriff, your brother's watching. Make your family proud. Mom would be so proud of you. Hi, Mom. The scouts actually were not looking to attack. The scouts... Wait, why couldn't the scouts see that? Oh, he hasn't made a market yet. He hasn't made a market yet, so there's no cartography to see what allies are doing. Okay. Wow. Adam, this is a PG stream. We don't appreciate those jokes. I will commend you. I'm really trying hard to not crack a smile right now, but you've taken it one step too far. <laughs> Sally says, made me laugh more than it has any business of doing so. Yeah, I think that's a fair way to say it. Um, well, guys, in terms of eco right now, the lowest vil count is red. And red's got 31 vils, but red has honestly done a really good job considering the circumstances. And holy freaking farms over here, red. So a lot of farms, I would maybe suggest going up to Feudal Age. And Sally says, so I guess I'll just hunker back down in my castle. Fine. Was a lovely talk blue. But Sally's right. Leaving a king out in the open is really silly, because that could just be sniped by anything. Um, blue just says heart. Blue with a couple TCs producing vils. The highest vil count right now is Sully. The player who uh, nuked himself the uh, last time we did land nomad with exploding kills. Uh, King, sorry. And Red says, hey Giovanni, you want to be pals? And I think Red really needs the answer to be yes. Giovanni says, sure. Okay. And Green says, I'm everyone's friend, smiley face. Yeah, I can tell by the way you stroll through people's bases with kings. He's got one, two. Look, his kings are constantly scouting, and he's only got two of them. Blue doesn't trust him. And Green says, I made a corner in the left if anyone wants to trade. That's one way of doing it. Okay. Sally says, I'm not Sully's friend. He took my name. We have a lot of chatter. And we have signaling in the corners for trade. Everyone's thinking about trade. No one thinking about sniping as far as I can see. Yeah, I can't believe we did community games without spec chat. It kind of makes me sad to hear it, but there's been a lot of people coming back saying they just were kind of uninterested in community games when it was just me talking. I get it. I, I kind of understand it. Spec chat makes it so good. Um, it adds to it. It adds to what I can do, too. But still, a small part of me was like, oh. <laughs> but if people are back, people are back, man. This is good. 
Uh, the sheriff is really all about the stables over here. Has a real stable economy, meaning four of these bad boys. Okay. What's up, Falling Star? I am good, man. I've been better for a few days now. Thank you. And now Red is trying to talk to Sheriff. Red needs alliances? I'm really pulling that he gets alliances. And Sheriff hasn't responded quite yet. And now Giovanni yes. says, Red talking only to you. Why are you in Dark Age? So I guess he didn't know. And Red says... I got blown up twice. So this is... This is what's beautiful about Age of Empires, and this is what's beautiful about community games, okay? Because obviously getting exploded sucks. But now, his score being low, no one's gonna want to kill him. Because they don't want to be seen as the bully. And... If they have a heart, they might even have sympathy for him. And Blue says, Kraken, what happened? And Kraken says, setbacks. Which is fair. I would personally be a little more specific because I would want to garner more sympathy, but you don't want to make it too obvious here if you're Krakenmeister. Oh, the nuked myself one was something else, Luke? Oh, really? Oh, that was something else. You're right. That was actually a, another one. Um, I think, oh yeah, the Sully one has stupid in the title. Sorry, Sully's stupid. They just come hand in hand. No, it was like... um. How could anyone... I never thought anyone would do this. Or I never thought anyone would be so stupid or something like that. That's what it is. You have a dot, 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 dot. Gray king under your TC. <gasps> oh, wow. There is a gray king sitting directly underneath green's TC. Giovanni, you can't go switching the language here. All right? This isn't a German stream. Sorry, Germans. And you know, if you're a T90 follower, that I struggle with that language in particular, all right? One of my long-term subs is named after a stingray. It's like Rochorochen or something, and I do my best with that, but... I also brought a relic as a sign of friendship. Oh, that's cute. So Sally's been pretty nice this game. Sally didn't try and blow up red and felt bad about it. And now is giving a relic to green... And has also told Green that there is a king there. I'm not even sure Gray is aware that there's a king there. But I guess that's the safest spot for it. If, oh, if Green kills it, he loses a lot of economy, so... Okay. Ducks linking the T90 in German girl, girls clip from like five years ago. No, we don't need... No. You know the main reason I left Twitch was just so that clip would stop being linked? And here it is! Yeah. Here it is! That was... I had a very large list of reasons to make the move, and that was at the top. It's finally time to be honest about that. Okay, resources. Resources. So, Sheriff just received resources. Can we double-check this? Whoa! I've never seen this! Green sent a hundred... Resources to every single player. I feel like this is a Monopoly card. You land on a... You pull a certain card, and it's like, you must send 100 wood to every player. Okay. Why is Red really upset? Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Red's pissed. He says, whoa, Sally. That relic comes at a price, buddy. That was in my land. <laughs> Wait, who, who is it Sally or Sully, though? Because I remember there being a relic here. Don't quote me out of context. I did not say that all Germans sound angry. I just said, when I first encountered the language, I thought everyone was angry at me. I There's a very big difference. Anyways, does anyone did anyone see that monk? I feel like Red's not in a position to scream and yell at people, you know? Of all the people that get upset about a relic, Red, you're just not it, bud. You're just not it. But I appreciate his passion. Um, as Sally says, okay, okay, I'll give it back. All right. And Blue says, please don't give me anxiety. Please don't give me anxiety. I don't know who he's talking to exactly. 
But guys, the explosions have been rather mild for everyone except Red. I thought you said German girls were scared. Okay, here's the full story so you can re-quote me and have it be accurate at least, okay? I was in Germany for, for Gamescom. I think it was 2017 in Cologne, all right? And I was there. I was in a new country. It was a great opportunity. I was excited. And I was also very single, right? Now, naturally, I'm a massive nerd, so I'm really bad with interacting with, well, thank God I'm not single anymore because I can't interact with the opposite sex at all unless it's my girlfriend. So anyways, I remember... We're at Gamescom, and there are these girls right next to me, and they looked really cute. And you know how you psych yourself up, and you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I could talk to them. So that's what I did, even though I should have known my actual ability to converse with strangers. And I heard them speak, and I thought they were upset with me. Because I was not used to the German language. And I apologize, Germans, for that. That's just that's what happened. So someone clipped me. Made it seem like I said all German girls are angry, which is not true. Whoa, Red is pissed. He says, I want the monk who dared to steal. Give me his head. And Sally says, there you go. Yours to execute. Can anyone find this monk? Um. Oh, it died right there, I think. Red made scouts. Well, really interesting how Sally just allowed that to happen. I mean, I would have said, screw you, dude. I mean, I would have said it in a nicer way, but... To be fair, you're not great at communicating with the same sex either. <sighs> Listen, don't... This is not the time to continue to make me look bad, all right? This is the time to rally around me. So for someone who really wants to keep Relic safe... I guess Red has a lot of trust in Teal. This is a really weird spot to build the monastery. I would have made it back here. Um, and... <laughs> oh boy, we're about to have some drama. We are about to have some drama. Teal just grabbed the relic. And also, we have an elite Tarkin. They're really silent. They should make more noise, but they don't. That just attacked over here. And actually, there was an explosion that resulted from it. And I believe that was one of Purple's Kings. Red is still upset about the relic. He says, that was my relic, and Teal's actually going to give it to him. As we still, at this stage of the game, have green scouting around. There's also a king right there. Yellow's Tarkin doesn't seem to see it. Green says, who killed my king? Green's only... Maybe that was Green's king that went down over here? I don't know. Oh, wait. That was another one of Purple's kings, and we see the explosion now. I think Purple's down to one. And that one is within this TC here. So what's good for Sully is that Sully's very spread out here and able to, to take some damage, but also able to dish out the damage. Okay. I think green's down to one. I think purple's down to one as well. And obviously purple's position's bad. He's 30 pop with five pop space in the Imperial Age after all that damage. And it wasn't just the explosion. It was also the Tarkins. So Sully did indeed wreck me. So I think Sully is enemy number one right now. And I think people are going to have to to rise up and riot against Sully. Who is starting to now split up the kings at the moment. Okay, Blue and, and Sally are talking about trade. And we have rats and archers, a king, and also a queen inside that castle. And we have a king and rats and archers here as well. He's spread out. He's thinking smart. I feel like everyone in the southern corner right now could be completely wiped by Sully. And honestly, Sully, since you scared Purple, and Purple's probably telling everyone what you did, I think you need to make this sooner rather than later. Because you can't back out now. You can't just try and be the nice guy now. They already know what you did. You have to just commit and be the be the villain. <laughs> Don't mind the Germans in the Netherlands. We do like you. <laughs> my impression of people from the Netherlands is that everyone is really, really tall. <laughs> That's my impression from people from the Netherlands. I've got a lot of a lot of people who watch from Germany, a lot of people who watch from the Netherlands. Yeah, I have market in bottom corner. I'll mine the stone to make route easier. Okay. So, so blue and orange 
are going to work together. I don't ask me why blue decided to put one of his kings in the center like this. It makes no sense. Green has been slinging people. Resources. He's kind of trying to pay them off. But green only has one king remaining. And one of gray's kings is underneath green's TC. And they haven't even had a conversation about it. Which is so weird to me. Like, if I'm green, I would have mentioned that multiple times already. Gray is now moving these two kings away for some reason. And is playing safe with walls. Um, maybe we'll just move it to a castle that's further back. And here comes the choo-choo train rams from Sully. Now, guys, I... Does anyone remember the old Tarkin noises? I miss the Tarkins when they thumped. It's not a big issue. You rarely see the Tarkin, at least in competitive AB2. But the Tarkin is an amazing unit that does benefit from Blast Furnace, though Sully hasn't researched it yet. And it used to have a thump noise when it would attack. And they just, they just like... They destroy buildings so quick, and it was so satisfying to hear the th thump, the thump, the thump. And new Tarkins, it's like they're hitting the buildings with feathers. They don't make noise. Which is actually perfect for Diplo games, because it's super stealthy. Okay, someone's making a wonder. Green is making a wonder. And guys, Wonder Victor will actually work, because we heard the noise. So this just got a whole lot crazier. Teal is running away with one of these kings. Cav Archers are in the group. And the Cav Archers will get a kill. That's one down. This will be two down. And the third one is also inside of this castle. We'll see if Sully wants to run away and save his military, or if he wants to see if there's a king there. But the king will eject now, and Sully is now leaving because he knows that the explosion will happen any moment, and this could be the end for Teal. This could also be the end for Red! Teal is running towards Red! And the explosions happen, and Teal actually keeps his king alive. Wow. Okay, and just double-checking Yellow's base, he hasn't been hit by anything yet. But I think he's about to, because Blue is gearing up with those Scorpions. And so I think the the risk for for uh, Sully is that he has no friends, and he's attacking everyone. And this will eventually hurt him. Purple lost his final king there, so that's the end for tea time. He wasn't really able to use his tactics. And Sully is lying, by the way. He said Bastard after killing Teal, and now is saying to everyone, Teal deleted King in my base. This is a lie. This yes. is a lie because he doesn't want to be the target now, and everyone seems to have bought it at this point. Actually, unless he did. Oh, he did. Never mind. It's truth. <laughs> Teal, Teal defends himself and says, because you attacked me. Okay. So I think Yellow's got two. Yeah, there's two Kings there. That must mean that Teal only has the one. Um, and it, I'm not sure. Let me double check. Oh, it's right there. Okay. What do you think about an exploding king uh, on a queen nothing map? Well, that would that would be interesting. Let's put it that way. Green's wonders in the center. So I'm not a hundred percent certain. But because there's a wonder symbol, and because we heard the whoa, because we heard the noise, I think that tells me that wonder victory actually will work here. And that would also mean relic victory works too, but I don't think that'll happen with relics being all over the map. Um, obviously, it, it takes a very long time to complete a wonder. It takes an unnatural period of time to, to build a wonder, and then it's a thousand wood, a thousand stone, a thousand gold. Then you have to wait for the countdown, too, so there's just no way they'll allow him to win with this. Honestly, as we see tactical in chat right now, honestly, that your biggest issue, man, was just who you were next to. That was, the, that was the problem. I would say you should maybe talk a little bit more with some of the others, but the truth is, Yellow could decide to kill anyone right now. So, there's Yellow's going to pay a price for this. I'd say the other thing is don't group up your TCs all together in this. Having a TC here and a TC here, and I'm sure Gray would have been nice enough to let you over, would have, I think, ensured that, you know, you, you lose one or two, you lose some of your eco, sure, but then you're still alive. It's still so weird to me that Blue has one of his kings there, though. But man, oh man, oh man, is his army going to be strong. He's got Ballista Elephants. He's got Scorpions. I'm sure he has Double Crossbow. 
Khmer are insanely hard to stop if they have trade, and he has plenty of it. I have to say, like, for a player who's been this aggressive with a lot of resources, kind of feels like Sully could have killed a little faster here. Might be because he has 141 eco. But what he does not have right now is any siege. Meanwhile, poor Red is asking for some resources. He's asking for gold. And I'm sure he would have wanted to have his teammates. He actually does have gold available here. And Teal is going to send him some gold. Okay, so there's a signal from Blue. He's like, I like this. This is going to make the thumbnail in the YouTube video. And I'm still just waiting for Blue and Orange to act. Because as it stands, Yellow's just going to run through everyone. And they're just going to wait. Supports the message of peace, I think, says Blue. He says as he's getting ready to attack Yellow. I mean, that would be the natural move, is to take care of Yellow while Yellow's distracted with the others. But they're also not running towards Yellow's base. Also, don't sleep on Green, because Green's resources are nuts. He's, all, he's just been trading and sending resources. He has not been fighting at all. And then Gray as well is someone that you probably shouldn't sleep on. He's got lots of paladins, full upgrades. He also has lots of resources. Hmm. This wonder can be used by kings to meet in s some kind of united nation, says Green. Yeah, what you didn't even show up to earlier, dude. You were traveling the world. We remember. You were, you were traveling the world while all the other kings wanted peace. You were on vacation. Now you're down to one king because of it. Because you were traveling so much, so... That's cute and all, but it's not true. <laughs> okay, so Teal is actually being attacked. Wow, I feel a little bad for these guys right now. I feel like the top three are kind of picking on people. And I think Teal's down, we established Teal's down to one king, right? Hey Red, do you want a hand against Teal? Looks like you're a bit smothered. Well, Sheriff, um, he's actually teamed up with Teal right now. So you would have to fight yellow. And Krakenmeister says, Teal is my friend. I need help versus yellow. Okay, so Blue says, I'm going to go for Sully. And Sally says, hold on. He is the most dangerous, but it's too early. Let's wait. Which is interesting, because Blue is about to make the move. And wow, resources still coming in towards red. As red's... Three kings are still in this corner. He's got uh, some long swordsmen with the Japanese. No, no champion upgrade yet, which is interesting, but he's a little distracted at the moment. And Grace says, yellow it is. Yeehaw! <laughs> I love that. Yeehaw! Oh, man. If Gray were to just make a few more stables, look at that queue. If he would have maybe double the stables, that production would be so fast. But... I like it, like, clearly, you know, it's his first community game. It took him a bit to get going here. But I love his eco number. And I love how he's not going to attack until he has a unit queue. A lot of people will attack before they queue up more units. Teal's king has not been killed. Teal's king is on the move, though. Sally says, no treason. Okay, here comes Gray. This will be a surprise for Yellow, as he's now adding barracks because I think he's noticed it. Blue says, I was preparing to kill Giovanni. So, so Sully now is terrified and will come home. But I mean, he's going to lose Eco and he's going to lose at least a few castles to this. It's a lot of paladins. I just, guys... I'm a little invested in Giovanni's story because Giovanni is kind of like purple where he got stuck in a bad spot. But I am so invested, invested, excuse me, in Krakenmeister's story. I really want Krakenmeister to be able to do something here. But I'm concerned because Kraken hasn't tried to spread out at all. All three of his kings are in the same spot and he's just stuck in the corner. Anyways, castle goes down. And Blue says coming to help. To Sully, who, of course, he just said to Sally, he was going to kill. There go the kings. 
I believe that those might be the final two kings. Let me double check here. No, there is still one king here for Sully. So he's got three lives. And he's splitting them up. Okay. At what point does Sally go for something sneaky? Like, how many community games do we have to have where Sally can just do whatever he wants and dictate the pace of the game? It's like people accept it at this point. Maybe it's because Sully went for the weak links and not trying to go for Sally, but like... Still, I mean, you can't really blame Sully for that. Wanting to get some kills in the Diplo game. I think Blue's gonna have to be the one that would change things and maybe turn on Sally at some point, but... They're, they're like, everyone's trading. And also, you know what this is perfect for right now? It, this is the perfect scenario for green. Because green has 12,000 golds and is only researching fur fur. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, as we expected, gray would take a pretty good fight. Not bad. Blue's actually attacking gray now, so I don't think he'll be happy to see that. He'll be like, what did you get me into, red? Um... But still, his position's pretty good as well. But it feels like the big three are going to fight together. And then blue and orange are going to turn on yellow when it's later on in the game. Like, they don't want to take care of him now because they feel he's too valuable. Teal, of course, is like... Kind of dead. Trying to come back. Red is getting there. Getting murder holes now. Getting some blacksmith upgrades. Has resources. Like, tons of resources. Could be fully popped. And Sully says, shall we go after Gray? Teal is next to dead. Red says, let's get some long-term trade on the left side. Now, I think normally it'd be something like 250 or 300 years for the wonder. But because atheism was researched by Sully... The wonder time, the wonder victory time has gone up. That's also the first time I've ever seen a Bulgarian wonder. It looks pretty good to me. And Green didn't know. Green says, is there a wonder victory? Question mark. Green's probably panicking because he doesn't want to be attacked because of this. And Teal has now been defeated. And there you can see where the king went down. And that was the defeat by Sally. Atheism no longer does that. I thought they made a change, so it does that, and it does something else as well. Anyways, I think we're about to see a lot of army go down. The explosion will happen. But again, the explosions aren't super strong. <laughs> okay, they're still really strong. <laughs> Who are we kidding? Listen to those ballistas, man. Gray just chose the wrong side. Like... If I'm gray, I start to talk to green and say, what's your plan? But green's plan is clearly to let everyone else fight right now and just send resources out to them to keep them happy. It still does that and halves the relic gold generation for enemies. Okay. All right. So I thought it still did that. Yeah. I remember giving feedback on that because people had said they wanted to change it. And my feedback was, well, it's kind of historical. It's been in the game for a while, so don't remove what it already did, but just add something a little bit more. So, I can't figure out if this is accurate from Sally. Sally's now attacking yellow, right? Or is he attacking gray? Oh, he is attacking gray. Gray, stop! Bro, you need to back up here. You need to back up and start talking. It does not behoove you to continue to send your horses in here and your, your pointy boys and just die. You need to back up, master units, and you need to start talking to people. Because this is a 3v1, and they're all the top three right now. The green score says otherwise, despite I don't think he's killed a single unit. Guys, green doesn't even have a stable. Green has one castle. Green doesn't have a barracks or an archery range either. I've never seen a player camp so much for resources, but not even prep for what could come in the future. This is ridiculous. This would be a pure Diplo win at this point. There's no Siege Workshop either. He hasn't teched into anything. So I think he has some Blacksmith upgrades. Teal says, I never play community games again after some beer. That was too stressful. Sorry, I think, that, I think the game mode... Giovanni really didn't lend itself to 
being too kind to you. Sully says the pinch used in warfare and taking a dump, what do you need? Sully, you're, you're lucking out here, bud. You're lucking out. They should be on you right now. They should be attacking you right now. They're not because they want to save you for later. The Sally wants pop space, yeah. Think about this. Vietnamese elephants with 450 HP. You have the Khmer elephants with 310 HP with all this ranged attack. You then have the Halbs. You have the Rats and Archers. This is a hard comp to stop. Even if they had, even if green, red, and gray fought together, I don't think it's possible to beat this comp. So I honestly kind of just feel, I just feel bad for gray. Sally, my friend, Sully has been talking to me about killing you, just saying, not going to betray you. Okay, that's a lie. That's a lie from Blue. And Sally says, I trust you, Blue. And so I think Blue is getting a little antsy with this. And he wants to kill Yellow, but he doesn't want to do it if it doesn't have Sally's blessing. So I tried Googling it, and I think Wonder does not grant victory in Last Man Standing, but it's not very clear. Oh, it does, buddy. Believe me, whatever you Googled isn't going to fit what's actually happening here. It does grant victory. And everyone has forgotten about Green's Wonder. Also, I just want to double check. Looking at the stats. A green has kills, but I think it was when his king went down earlier. I don't know if he actually killed anything. Yeah, he lost two kings, and he has 21 kills. That's what it is. <laughs> he has one king in a three-king game mode. And Sully says, I'm sorry, Green, but I'm not going to wait and find out, which is a little disappointing. But yeah, it's very makes a lot of sense. No, Green Wonder is not worth dying for, says Sally. Sorry for the yawns. I think Green should have just not said anything. I think he shouldn't have brought attention to the Wonder again. Alright, something needs to happen here. Gray, Gray is fighting off in what ways he can. But I'm not cool with, with the three strongest players just beating up on everyone else. I get that it's strategic. And I get that it's a good way to win. But that's not what I sign up for here. The three top three attacking everyone else. Re poor Red's just trying to reboom over here. And I think he's he's thinking long-term trade. And he actually, you know, to be fair to, to uh, the others, Red could actually have tons of military right now. It just doesn't seem to be his focus. But someone's going to have to make a move. And let's just check the resources. 6,000 gold for blue. 1,500 for Sally. But he also has a ton of gold units in Q. And then you have 22k gold for Sully. Which is actually ridiculous because I don't think he's been trading up until now. If Green is defeated, does his wonder still make everyone lose? No, when, you, when you're when you defeated, your wonder automatically uh, gets destroyed. I think it's the same with Relic Victory. Your relics will immediately eject. It's kind of interesting how that happens, but I think that's the case. Sorry, I just realized I didn't have my alert thing up, so I couldn't say thank you to a few people here. But thanks, Hunter. Thanks, Brandon. Uh, also, thank everyone for showing up. There we go. Back into the game. Okay, so here comes the army. Uh, I haven't seen a king go down yet for gray, but I'm going to press the hotkey. Okay, that is not the hotkey. Why does it keep happening? Hotkey. There it is. Oh, he's got two kings down here. Did he lose one? Does anyone remember gray losing one? We might need to care about gray allying with Sully. He could be desperate. Blue, I think your game sense is a little off here. I don't see how I don't see how that would work when they're on opposite sides of the corner or opposite sides of the map. Um 298 years on the wonder. Vietnamese elephants are just so freaking tanky, man. Look at that. There's like three elephants in there. They still won't die. Oh, the other one was still under Green's TC. Thank you. It's still there. It's still there. Yes, a defeated player can can win in King of the Hill when their units are in the middle. No, excuse me, could, but they changed that. The devs changed it. 
So if there's units in the middle from a defeated player, it doesn't work anymore. I actually... I'm still really upset about that, and I never talked to them about it, so I need to make sure I put that on my list. So I'm glad we brought that up. Used to be possible, and then they changed it for some reason. I always thought that was fun, you know? Um... Okay... Like, you've got all this power, and all you're doing... This is so, so realistic. You got all this power, and all you're doing is working together to make sure that you all maintain the power. This isn't cool, man. We want superpowers to try and kill each other at the expense of thousands of innocent lives, okay? That's what we want. In a video game, that's what we want. In real life, I prefer you cool it. But, uh, Green says, if anyone wants healing, I have a few monks near the wonder. Green's being super wholesome. And Green still hasn't made any units except for the monks and is maybe just hoping that the wonder will be left there now what would have been the play was make a as you make the wonder in the middle which attracts their attention you make a secret wonder somewhere else and so when one wonder goes down the other one's still standing i think it has a separate countdown but it's probably too late now that we do see green getting upgrades and maybe prepping to spend that forty thousand gold Gray is clearly overwhelmed. You know, this is a big family event. His brother's been watching this stream. I'm sure that all of his family members are watching now. This is... This is... The result of this game really dictates if his brother will continue to love him. And... <laughs> look, I'm joking. I'm joking. Clearly, this is sarcasm. Um, and so he's not talking as much as maybe he could to get himself out of this position. But I'm still not even sure what I'd say. Like, I would ask Red to help. Red, Red hasn't been fighting. I'd say, hey, do you have anything? And full halb and champion could maybe help. I, I'm not sure about the ballistas, but everything else it could be good with. Um, guys, I've seen a lot of top powers play out games like this. And typically what happens is they just get antsy because they're, they're scared the enemy is going to kill them. And they eventually make a move. I don't know who it's going to be, but it's going to be someone, as Gray is still held on. He's still held on. Man, that trade is really, really paid off, and really paid off for Green, as he just continues to send resources to everyone. Yes. Sully, help, says Blue. And he's asking Sully to join in here against Gray. And then Sally responds to the name Sully, which is pretty funny, because I guess their names are similar. Sheriff, when you rewatch this, dude, you're a beast. You're fighting all on your own against the three top players right now. You're a beast. You played this really well. Solid unit control, solid, solid macro. Probably could use a couple more trade cards. But apart from that, I mean, you're doing your best. Red is still, I think, so, so destroyed mentally from what's happened earlier that red doesn't want to fight and red's making tons of japanese towers everywhere which is really good but what we need to see from red is a little bit more unit production it's two of his brothers are watching okay will you love him if he loses just curious is it 50 50 <laughs> and red says i need help but i think you're actually okay here buddy I think you're actually okay. This might light a, fi a much-needed fire under your ass to produce a bit. Now you start to see the production. It won't look pretty for a bit, and yes, Cab Archer Paladin is tough for Japanese to deal with. But with your production from home, you should be okay. Yes, we will. Ah, I wanted more drama than that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Normally, I'd say as green... Green is his final king in the middle! I don't know what Blue's talking about. I don't know why Blue's freaking out. He says, go, 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 go quickly, deny. I'm not sure about that. But Green has monks and a king in the center, and that's literally it. Green, you're crazy. And guys, when someone dies, their resources don't go to anyone. You can't write a will and have the resources go to your, you know, your brother or your teammate. The resources just die with you. 
Remember, there's exploding kings. Sally accidentally almost sent one forward, but there's three of them, so everyone has three lives. Fair play to red. Krakenmeister will look back on this fondly. Though he still... No, it won't be so fond, actually, because he still needs to make sure he produces. I'd suggest double-clicking from the barracks, setting a gather point, and yeah, there you go. I'd like to see a mix of pointy boys, personally. I think Kalbs would definitely be more beneficial, and maybe he will be in trouble. Maybe he will be in trouble now, because if the Sea Drams come in too, this could be problematic for Japanese. Ray continuing to get pushed. Green is still sitting in the middle, 175 years. I mean, I'm trying to think how this will play out. Sally could turn on green and just kill the king with his castle? Maybe that's the way to do it. Yasama towers are no joke for Japanese. But unfortunately, the units for Japanese, unless you're making samurai, which he's not making, are not so strong. Blue says, I'm going to go for Sully soon, you too. And Sally says, we need to kill Gray first. Nope! Not today! Not today. Not today. It's not going to happen. Gray will continue to fight. I think Blue should kill Sally now. That's what I think. I think Blue should get... He should he should own his own decisions in life. And he should realize that Sally shouldn't get to tell him what to do. That's what I think. And shake this whole game up. Like, this is horrible. Red says, I need help. I need lots of help. Please, please, help, help. Gray is the only one that can help. Green is useless. I mean, he's out there. He's, he's a peaceful man, all right? And green is just sending red resources. <laughs> so he's helping in what ways he can. What happened to Sally's base? Looks like there might have been an explosion. And I'm I'm curious on who that was. Sorry, it's, it's hard for me to... I don't have a king counter, right? Gray's kings are still alive. It wouldn't have been green. It might have actually been blue. Blue's got one king there. I don't know. Japanese halves and champions, they do attack faster. Both both of these two players have a lot of resources. This is a really good 1v1. At red, I understand you're freaking out, but if you continue to produce out of this many barracks, you should be able to hold against the Huns here. Sorry you attacked red, frowny face. Felt sorry to them and oh this is because we have a turn can we please say we love you blue in chat thank you blue for this i needed this about 20 minutes ago but now now it gets interesting now it does probably play into sally's hands a teensy bit and we know sally loves this community game victories um but red is saying thank you and red is saying sully will not win so he's motivated and I agree, I don't think Sully will win. I'm really curious to see how many resources Green has sent to people at this point. Hey guys, if Green could just continue... Wait, I just thought about this. Is he possibly surrounding his king with monks? So he will heal his king? If Green wins this game because he's just paying everyone off and everyone's so focused on the fights, it would be hilarious. There's no way everyone in this game would forget about that, though. There's just no way. Uh, King update for yellow. You've got one down here. Uh, he's sending his army back, but obviously we're going to have red running this way. He should anyways. Red says about that wonder, though. No, he's sending you resources. Don't. Okay. Smart from red. Expected, maybe. Okay, so actually there's still all three kings alive there for Sully. He says, Sully, go for wonder, not me. Well, Red, he's got some bigger problems right now. Um, it's beautiful, right? Smiley face is green. Who still, by the way, doesn't have... He doesn't have Krepos. He doesn't have anything for military except for one castle. And Gray fought back. And Gray is adding more trade. Um, which I think has been the thing that he's needed to do. The only thing he's needed to tweak in this game. And ladies and gents, with one little turn, we have a crazy game that makes no sense, and I love it. Blue, remember those sheep? We started off wonderful. And then Blue's like, I sent you the sheep? Question mark. Like, 
Sully says, you let me know about some of the corner. Sully, you're really grasping for straws here. He let you know where sheep were in the Dark Age and you think that's a friendship? <laughs> Sully's like, you told me about sheep in the corner. Now look at you. I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> oh my god. Blue says, but then you turned out to be a red stabbing Sully Wully. Is that a thing? A Sully Wully? I kind of like that. Don't be a Sully Wully, guys. Come on. Blood is red, blue. Blood is red. Alright. That was a very enthusiastic defense. I think we can say that at least. As Sully is receiving resources, it's like every time I go to someone's point of view, they're receiving resources from green. And Blue says, so are tomatoes, which I don't has any I don't think that has any relevance to this conversation. And Sally now realizes that Blue might not be that big of an ally. So he says, Alright, great, look. I attacked you because of my allies did so too. But now they are killing each other, so I have no intention of fighting you. Can we have peace? What do you say to that, Gray? Meanwhile, I think Green is happy to see all this chat. Red is so shell-shocked, he won't even leave his base. Everyone else is fighting, realizing we have spec chat now and they want to tell all their jokes. And Green says, why do people always feel the need to rely on violence? The biggest pacifist we have seen. Is it fair to say in community game history? Maybe. The only, the only time that he killed anything in this game was when his king died. Now, Gray might be having a, a communication problem. He might not know that he can talk to people. And, and maybe he doesn't see the message from Sally. I guarantee you that Sally is actually typing to him. Because so Sally would never get the chat wrong. The Wonder is at 46 years. And Sully says, seriously though, someone kill the Wonder. And Sally says, no it is then. I think Gray is just too caught up in fighting. He doesn't see the chat. And so that means the fight will continue. Or maybe he just doesn't care. I feel like if he knew, he'd be like, ha ha, screw you. You know, instead of, he might nicely say screw you. I don't know. So Yellow said something about the Wonder, but Yellow also cannot get to the Wonder right now. And uh-oh, 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 the king, the king. Dude, run away from here, Green. You can still fight. Don't put your final king in here. You could have your king at home. I think his king is going to get killed off here. Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Wait, where is it? I clicked it. Oh, it's right there. It's a 26 year. It's a 26 years. The bomber cannons are now firing. Okay, monks cannot use their little. Uh, I almost called it a wand. They cannot use their staffs to repair. He could always, I guess, convert. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a misclick. That's a misclick from Sally. He's still allied with the guy. He just repaired it. And so Sally wants to attack ground it to, to take it out, but he doesn't want to turn on the guy. What is happening? It's at 15 years. What's happening? Blue is defeated. That's what's happening. Blue is defeated. But they could all be defeated if the Wonder isn't taken care of. And here comes the, the Paladins now. And Green is defeated, which is what ends up destroying the Wonder, though it would have gone down anyways. And Blue says, bad decisions have been made. I can only imagine that that means Blue had all of his kings in one spot. And it kind of looks like it. Blue had two, maybe three kings? Wow, guys. And we will see another explosion in the center. And there it is. Green barely evades that with his paladins. We have four players left. And Sally says, all right, there goes my base. But he's lying about that. He says, at least my forward one. Hmm, not sure about that. Okay. So, Gray does have decent resources. By the way, Green died with... Actually, not as much as I thought. 8,000 wood, 11,000 food, 20,000 gold, and 2,600 stone. Um, re uh, everyone who's here has been through a lot. Whether they were dictating the pace of the game or whether they just got destroyed. 
Right at the worst possible start. Sally immediately says so Sully to start this conversation and Sully just starts laughing. I struck up a temporary ceasefire with Gray finally. Sorry I couldn't help. Sully says, no problem. What's your plan? We could try an honorable 2v2, maybe. Sully's just trying to spin this so he can win. As Sully says, you and me against gray and red. And Sally says, we could take him, maybe. Dude, you could take him, maybe. Look at the scores. You can take him, maybe. Yeah, of course you could take him. I think, anyways. And Sully's deciding on if he should do this. Gray did just show that he has lips. He can speak. He says, let's get Sally. No, I mean Sully. <laughs> and then specifies and says yellow. God, of course, of course, with four people remaining, Sully and Sally are in the game. Sully says, I can take red 100%. And Sally says, I could maybe hold versus gray. I like how he says maybe when he's got 21k gold. Anyways... It feels like gray and red definitely have, uh, it, I feel like they have more motivation, right? They've been wronged, chat. And oftentimes the people who have been wronged are going to be more motivated in life. Yes. If they lived a little cushy life with 20,000 gold, like, like Sally, then maybe they're, you know, they're not going to be as motivated to accomplish great things. But everyone's kind of loaded right now, to be honest. Here comes the army. Gray will be out of position. Gray does have two kings in this TC. Very little protection here. Oh, and wait. Wait. This is because Gray is allied with... Wait, I'm confused. So he ended up allying? And not speaking to Sally? And now Sally could run right through the gate. Oh, no. You trusted him. You trusted him. And now I bet you Gray is so focused on the fight. He's like, make my family proud. Make my family proud. Make my family proud. Cute paladins. Make my family proud. Make my family proud. He doesn't notice. Also, I have to say this blends in quite nicely with everything. And it's very possible both kings go down. Will Gray react? Will he be able to survive? Sally is surrounding this with rat sons, which is perfect. So whatever direction they go, the rats and archers will be around. And there they go. And Gray is now out of the game. Wait. Oh, he still has the other king in Green's base. I forgot about that. And that keeps him alive. Now, did he notice? I'm not so sure because he's still spamming units forward. But okay, now he knows. And he's sending all his new paladins right where the explosion is going to be. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Can you imagine losing your kings and then freaking out and like, okay, I've got this. Let's set the gather point right here, boys. Boom. <laughs> uh, the Sally's pumped. He's like, he still has one. He's still queuing units this way, Sicily. Where's Red at right now? Okay, Red is, Red is ramping up. I feel like Red has watched the Spirit of the Law intro video way too many times. You know what I mean? Like, we're not seeing a lot of samurai. We're seeing a lot of onagers now. Some rams. But all the red over here is gone. All the gray over here is gone. And I think for red and gray, this is not going to work out too well for them. Um, Is he not seeing this? Just hold, please. I'm working as fast as I can to Sally. Okay, Sally's now acknowledging that he realized. But yeah, I mean, gray's in big trouble. Also... He's trying to chop wood. I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite like this. It looks like Green's villager is blocking the lumber camp foundation. Okay. <laughs> so there's, there's 36 vills that can't chop wood there that looks ridiculous. And I think it's over for Gray soon. It has to be. Um, he was doing fine when he was receiving resources from Green. I just don't see how he's going to have the consistent res... Red is, Red is really gearing up for crazy defense over here. He's got keeps everywhere. And um, everything that I see here just points towards a 1v1 between the Sullys and the Sallys. 
Sally says he cleaned me, which is, of course, true. He's going to group up more units and come over. Gray is going to have mainly Halb, so I'm thinking Halb and Rats and Archers would be quite good. But for now, Gray, I mean, Gray's pop is good. I should maybe calm down a little bit. Maybe should check those at some point in the game. No one to really trade with, apparently. I, I guess he's making more markets. So he can trade down here with red. And uh, red, oh, I love it. Red's loading up all the rams for the biggest fight of the day for him. Being patient. Red is ready. Okay. Okay, can you fill the front three rams, though? Just so it looks a little better. His heart's pumping. Ba -ba 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 -ba. He was almost dead at the start. He has all these resources, so he knows that he can maybe do this. It's unlikely. Be scared. But the world can be scary sometimes. It still means you have to leave. You have to jump out of the jump out of the nest and surprise! Not supplies for once. Big onager shots. The champions protect the siege. Well executed attack from Red. However, the Cav Archers do run away, the Paladins do run away, and that's the main issue with this comp, is that it's got to force fights, because it is rather slow. Gray doesn't have a lot left in the tank here. If I were him, I would just trade with all the gold you have and make halves and hope for the best. Let's see if he does that. And, uh, well, Sully, 11,000 gold. So he's fine. Also, there's some random cues here. Very random cue, I've noticed. I, I think the worst one is Sally. Look how random it is. I guess it's not that random, actually. But guys, what a great game. I'm just curious if Green is in chat. I would ask Green's game plan, but I guess we already, we kind of could have gathered his game plan. I guess the other thing to ask would be, did you expect it to work? <laughs> Unfortunately, like, this is a post-imp game, right? So if you have a lot of resources, you want to be making your best units. And Japanese really don't have killer units compared to other civs in this type of a game. I guess they do have really good cav archers. I would say samurai is the other thing you want to make, but he decided to make a lot of towers instead. So he doesn't have the castles for that. But he is pushing yellow back. And Gray's still holding on. I don't think Gray knows, Russell, that his king is here. I don't think he has any clue. His king has been here since Dark Age. That or he's just happy to blend in, but it's pretty crazy to me how that's the case. The thing is, everyone's allied with green, right? So I guess blue's dead, so we shouldn't check that. But like, yeah. If you look at the minimap, you can see the gray dot. This is Sally's Fog of War. Since they're allied with green, they should be able to see it. But they're just not looking there. It's almost... Too obvious, you know? Anyways, the onagers end up going down. Castle might go down for Sully, though. Who, uh... Oh, is down here. I was gonna say, where is he going right now? Green says, I didn't expect to win. I just wanted to have fun and be peaceful and friendly with everyone. Well, that's wholesome. <laughs> that's super wholesome. And I hope you had fun. The green's here now. Fun is important, man. Fun is important, and fun doesn't always equal winning. I'm just so happy that... I, I, I cannot state enough how happy I am that blue decided to turn on yellow. I know it ended up killing him in the end. Uh, because I think yellow got revenge, but it really shook up this game a lot. Emil, there's actually no way to research treason in this game mode from what I have been told. So, researching treason to find the kings is not possible here. Which further complicates things. Gray's got trade still. Any gold you get from this, you should add more trade. Continuous. And then you've got a chance. But he also needs more vills. He also needs more farms. There's just so much to come back from. I still think he's going to get wiped. One convincing mass from Sally. And, you know, there's just a couple castles here. And then he'll have no eco. And then he could use the king offensively if he knew where it was, but... Why are you trading with Sully? And is that... Is that Red saying that? 
What does he see? Well, I'm enemy gray. Who's he talking to? Ah, Red's talking to Sally. He's just so process of elimination. What a sassy way to respond. <laughs> also, Red, don't kill your own units here. Thank you. So, Red, in Red's mind, Sully is the devil, okay? Sully is the absolute devil. He hates Sully because Sully attacked him and Sully killed all of his friends. And who can blame him? Who can blame him? After what he's been through, he's probably completely traumatized. So, players will have this... There's Like Green said, he just wants to have fun. He didn't think he'd win. Um, other players will have thought process of, I don't care if I win. I just don't want Yellow to win. And I think that's what Red's thinking right now. What has worked out so well for Sally is that there is this giant target on Yellow. And, and Yellow actually took care of Blue kind of for him, right? Because the initial plan was for Blue and Sally to work together to the long term. You see the elephants taking care of the castle. Again, I just think there's so much work Gray has to do. And Gray just needs to ask for peace. Gray's had two weaknesses this game. He hasn't traded quite as much as he needed to. And then he just hasn't talked. And this is Diplo. You have, to, you have to plead for help sometimes. You have to cry and scream and try and suck up to people. That's just how it goes. Gray and Orange, y'all can't be enemies. Team up, you two. And Gray says, how you doing, Red? I'm dying. And Kraken, Kraken might change things. He says, otherwise Sully steamrolls us. I think there's honestly a chance, especially because Sally is so receptive to good diplomacy talk, that Gray might be saved by Red's conversation. I trust Sully. I'll stick with them. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. I tried. Try to predict some things, you know? You try and predict some things, and they just take the easy way out. So basically, that means that Red should take a stand, and he should say, well, then, Sally, I, you're either with me or against me, and I'm against you, but if he does that, he's dead. <laughs> That's the problem. That's the issue, because Gray is out. So I think this whole game, and I don't know how this happens every time, is working perfectly for Sally. Simply due to the fact that no one is no one sees him as a big threat right now. Except for Grey, who's gonna die. And Grey doesn't know where his king is still. Oh boy, he does. Operation How's the Enemy, aka MBL is going well. Grey seems dead. Okay, Grey is looking for a target right now. But first, he's contemplating whether or not he wants to do this. He's on the edge. He's lived a really good life, but most of his family and friends are dead. He knows there might not be much left to really live life for. All the thoughts are running through his head, but now he's motivated. Now he's motivated. He saw the enemy rats and archer. He's going to make a run for it. I don't think this is going to end the game or anything. Not for Sally, anyways. But here comes the king. It's dark. It's Diplo, man. Diplo's dark. And the king will get hit. But if you're going to die, you want to die close to this. And he does die. Gray's out of the game. GG, Sheriff. Will Sally realize what just happened? Because he might think he killed the king in the base. Red, let's be real. You are weaker than yellow, so my choice is obvious. Good explanation from Sally. He's basically saying, listen, I have to team with yellow because... He's strong. And there goes the explosion. Which does hurt Sally, but because it's the triple king threat, there's still a king in there for Sally. And I actually want to see. Um, Sally says, all right, yellow, to the end we fight. And then he says red in parentheses. Wait, what? He says, I choose friendship. Who do you choose friendship? Be more clear. Be more clear. I'm very, very confused. Did Sally just say that he wants to team with red? Or he wants to team with yellow? Does anyone have any clue? Also, to what Green is saying right now, I'm pretty sure it was due to the settings at the start. 
That's why red fell so far behind was because the settings at the start had them on teams. He's saying to Sully, he fights to the end against red. Well, I think it would be better for Sally's chances to fight with red against Sully. I think that would be the case. But he does have... He's got loyalty to him. Uh, I don't know, understand why he's hugely loyal to this player, but maybe it's a name thing. Also, amazing micro from Sully. What a beast. What a beast. I think that might weaken the definition of amazing. It was solid. Let's put it that way. Uh, anyways, over here you've got Hussars coming in from Sully. Little sneak attack. I think your best... Your next attempt, if you're red, is to speak to Sully. But I do not foresee red ever wanting to ally a person he sees as the enemy. <laughs> Ace shot. <laughs> Ace shot. <laughs> I, I feel like you guys know this by now, but the longer you've been in the community... The, the the more I feel at liberty to talk smack about you guys, right? So if you're new and you're like, wow, that's pretty sassy from T90. I mean, I can get sassy from time to time regardless. Once you've passed that three-year mark, man, I just, I just, I'd let it go. Especially if you're a pretty capable player. If you're like, you know, if you're like Varian, I don't want to make jokes because you're still learning. So anyways, oh, Varian's in chat. This is going to be awkward in a second. Um... Again, the, the thing for red is there's no way you do this 1v2 at this point. There's no way, okay? There's absolutely no way. Your resources are incredible. In fact, I've never seen so many barracks not being used before. He says, oh, Sally. I think he missed the chat. But he could be up to 200 pop real quick with 34 barracks. He just has to queue. And Sally's like, as I said... I like how Sally has to make sure that Red knows why he's getting killed. <laughs> like, I just need to make sure that you're aware. I am going to kill you for these reasons. He says, I'm choosing my friend in battle and namesake. Okay, Red. Regardless of the reason, you probably should not just sit here. You probably should make a move, my friend. Okay, the town bell has been rung. The kids are going home from school or, or to school. I don't know how that works. Um... Are the towers going to clear all this? It almost feels like he doesn't have Yasama, though. Does it have his castle here? It doesn't have his castle here. He has arrow slits. Are we seeing extra arrows from the towers? Yasama... Anyways, Yasama is a unique tech for Japanese. I feel like the Yasama towers are going to hold... And now he's making the halves! He will defend! He will defend. You know Red is rich on resources, XD. God, that's one of the best quotes ever. <laughs> Sally says, those towers, WTF, and Sully just says, this might take a bit. Yes. Okay. No. Well, Siege Ram is the key. The Siege Rams are here. Red didn't have much time. And Red's going to make a wonder. What a legend. Go for it. Go for it, dude. Honestly, yes. I forgot about this as an option. Get all your vills and start building this. Please, don't build this. If you're going to commit to a wonder, don't build it with five villagers and then put your final king right next to it in the middle. You need all your villagers building it, and you need to play as defensive as possible, and you need to fend off these rams right now because you need production buildings. It will take them a long time to build this, and atheism was in, so don't get your hopes up. But I do like how Red is going to try this because this is probably his best go-to. Sally says he respects it. And, I mean, how can you not? But also, at the same time, this is this is where... Yes! Yes! This is where I think, if you're Sully, you should be thinking about sniping Sally and vice versa. You should. Though he might just be clearing out some of Blue's buildings. Because it's like... Feels kind of inevitable that Red's going to go down. The only risk of not going after Red with Sally right now is if Red actually pulls it off. I mean, maybe... I know people are watching right now that want him to pull it off, but... It's a lot of towers. He can fend off all these attacks right now. I think Sally uh, is going to go champion, which is what Sully had just said. 
still seeing some of these buildings being taken out, which might free up an avenue. Let's check kings again. We have all three for red in that one castle. One, two, two for Sally. And then Sully, he has three in this area here. Castle's at 80%, guys. I'm about to be all in on Krakenmeister right now. Remember, he he got nuked at the start. He got nuked twice at the start. And I think it's his first community game. I'm all in on Kraken. Can someone tell me how much game time it takes for 400 years? 450? Is that like... I think that's 40 minute game time. He needs to hold for three at, uh, to the three hour mark. I mean... Champion's gonna come in, which is a huge problem against the Halbs. But for now, yo, these pointy boys are poking holes in everything. Yeah, Rats and Archer is a problem though. Rats and Archer is a big problem against all this. Red is gonna need Siege too. But this is an amazing fight to buy time. Tick tock on the clock here. Here comes the, the Hussars. I don't know why we're still making Hussars against someone making ha Japanese infantry. But he probably had them in the queue from before, so. At this point, delete some of your farmers. Delete some of your lumberjacks. Get more pop space. Yo, if Red does this. Also, Red, make more towers and maybe even stonewall this in. That will not help against Trebs, but it will help against any, like, paladins or hustlers or anything that comes in. And honestly, maybe not right now, but you should probably delete some bills at some point, too. Oh, man. Lack of rams over here for Sully. Still 400 years. If Huns weren't in this game, Red would do this. I'm confident that if atheism wasn't researched earlier, Red could have done this. And now he starts to stonewall. Yeah, it's smart. He's not listening because it's just like common sense right there. It's a smart move. I also like how he's not waiting until they come to his buildings and he is engaging out here. It gives them less of, less time to group up. And something that Sally mentioned earlier he was having problems with was finding all of his army because there's such a big big map. And But the rats and archers should just wreck everything that's made from here on out. Uh, Red has three kings, but they're also all in that castle. So, Like, if one dies, the rest should die as well. Also, he's only in this position with these resources because of green. So I, I can't help but feel like green is probably cheering for red right now to get a victory that he couldn't get. Sheriff says, sorry, T90, for not chatting more. My heart was in my throat. My brain was in my toe. <laughs> what? My heart was in my throat and my brain was in my toe. No, don't be sorry, man. You played really well. I felt bad for you having three people against you, and it's totally understandable. Like I said, that was the only thing I could really be critical of. And that's that's something that takes time. Chatting and playing at the same time is not easy. Especially if you have a heart toe or whatever you just said. 392 years. Only 50 years has passed. So, like, that's one-eighth of the time he needed to survive. Oh, Green said something here. Red, I know you can't read me right now, but I love your spirit. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I agree. At a certain point, if this gets really bad, Red can sacrifice one of his kings to take out a big army. So I would say wait a little bit and then detonate it here, maybe. Sully says, I just hope that in 380 years, if we get there, a wonder doesn't win. It would be pretty embarrassing for Sully and Sally, who, as we've mentioned, have been around the community for many years. They're the two top dogs. You know, you would think that they would be able to take out little old Krakenmeister. No offense, Krakenmeister. Okay, now you need... Now you need to start thinking about sending out your Kings Red. And also, a big issue for him is lack of production. He's got 30 barracks. There, there's only six queued. Now he's queuing with more. Obviously, adding some onagers. I'm not sure out of which siege workshops, but he's adding... Oh, it was these. Okay. So he's adding onagers. Good. But losing this area is, I think, the biggest problem because...
trebuchets from right around here can take out that wonder. Landing big onager shots, though. Yellow maybe focusing on more units coming in. And red defended from that wave and now needs to use his onagers on the rat tents. 350 years. Is this actually possible? Choo Choo Train, thank you for the 500 stars. Says, uh, thanks for all the great content. RCT2 day yesterday was super chill. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I didn't think it was the best roller coaster tycoon day I've had. Uh, you know, we just didn't accomplish as much as I wanted, but I still really enjoyed it, man. And thanks for hanging out. Also, man, thanks for being a part of this for over the years and coming with me on the new platform and all that. It means a lot. Oh, can he do it? Can he do it? If he had siege workshops over here, that would be so clutch. He should make them. Aha! Wow, we're on the same page. Yeah, he needs siege on the left side. And then he can also hold with siege on the right side. Oh boy, but Siege Ram's coming in over here. This is a good angle from Sully to come in at. The Red did really prepare with Towers, and Red is trading with Teal right now. He still has trade after Gray's markets were taken out. That's a nifty little bit of information. Um, I mean, they're not really backing up these pushes with a lot of Siege, I have to say. Now, Red should come deal with this. This is such a big slip up for him not to deal with this because towers are not so good against rams, but like He's probably distracted over here, and I think what we've seen is he also is probably the worst of two in terms of skill So maybe the Temptation here to try and snipe uh, hold on a second. I'm supposed to be getting a package today And they said I have to sign for it, and I completely forgot to look at my phone all day um. What? They rescheduled it again? What is this crap? Okay, whatever. Anyways, back to the game. Some champions are now here. Over on this side, the Japanese champions are still pushing back rats and archers. 317 years. The big thing is, I think Sally needs to have... I mean, truthfully, red is a lot of army. Red's got a hundred army. That is a ton. So I think Sally needs to have uh, a few more bomber cannons in the mix. And I think what's hurting them is the lack of... What is this? That's wild. Uh, the lack of forward production buildings. But I think, like... The KD for Sally has looked really good in these fights. It's just, can they clear it in time? Because Red has so many more resources to make stuff. I would, if I'm red, I would maybe just add more towers right now, if you can. I just, just continue to patrol into every engagement and hope not to lose any buildings. This definitely reminds me of, of uh, Defend the Wonder, yeah. So, Defend the Wonder, you, of course, start with, I think, one team defending a wonder. This turned into a natural Defend the Wonder. Guys, red could have made this wonder earlier as well. This could be at 100 years. Sully says, I have an idea, use a king. Okay, that's a great idea. You have three of them. Go ahead. That's what I'd say. Sally says, that could work, but the towers will kill. I'll do the sacrifice. Oh, I like it. I mean, every person here has three kings except for Sally, so it feels a little unfair that Sally will do it. But you only need one to stay alive. If they use a king to clear out the barracks, that could be the, the ticket. The red patrol is your friend. Patrol over here. Stop any intrusions. There we go. There are the bomber cannons. There's no way red does this. Unless red detonates one of his own kigs right here. Which he needs to do, man. He needs to do. He's probably going to rewatch this and think, Ah, oh, man, that's such an obvious one. Unless red detonates his kings. Which is part of what I want to see from this game mode. That's why we have three. I think he's done for. Yeah, I think, I think Red's, he's just got too long, too long to wait here. Tell me when you're about to go, I will help, he says. It was only a matter of time until the bomber cannon showed up. That's what we talked about. Red is focused on the production and he's focused on what has worked so well for him for the last 200 years. 
He needs to keep this wonder up. And we haven't even... We're not even 50% of the way there, if you do the math on it. We're almost halfway. Um, I don't actually see the king right now for Sally. Um, I could use the hotkey, though. And he must have done it. And I think he signaled... He said here a second ago. Oh, there it is. That's a really good spot, actually. That's a really good spot. And let's see how much damage it does to the towers. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that was amazing! Wow, that was so clutch. Okay, I was about to be disappointed for Red. Because it does feel like Red can't do it any longer. But I have to say, that was creative. And it worked so well to clear that out. Dang. And Red just says, Welp. And no amount of sending kings forward can do anything for him now. And Sally says, GG, Red. And he's going to send one king out. I think this has now given him the idea. Right? But if I'm not wrong, his kings might be out of the castle when the explosion happens. Look at this. He might have just killed himself. They eject pretty soon here. <laughs> no. 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 Uh. They'll eject any second, I swear to God. Okay, well, they ejected because the castle got destroyed by the explosion, so they still survive. The wonder's still up, though. The wonder's still up somehow, some way. Green says, now I think about this, sending resources to people that are, that are at war is like selling weapons to them. So it's not that peaceful, actually. Wow, Green, what a what an incredible realization that is, my friend. Yeah, best to just resign at the start, says Blue. Hmm. I like how Green just... <laughs> I like how Green just chimes in, you know? <laughs> uh, well, Red runs over to hide with Gray. Gray has long since been defeated, but there he goes. Um, the Cav Archers are here killing the Repair Villagers on the Wonder. There's no way they will ever forget about this, but there's definitely a lot of reason for Yellow and Orange to think about each other now. But they did, they did agree, kind of, that they would finish off Red and then figure it out. That seems to be what they're doing. Red is not finished yet. Red is going to now expand. I mean... A good lesson, I think. Red could have expanded maybe a bit earlier. And that was that was amazing to see all those towers go down, though. Holy cow. What a game this has been. Now, I know there's there's certain things that people would have wanted to happen here. Maybe not everything panned out. It, it was predictable at times, then unpredictable at other times. And <laughs> guys, Red still has barracks. Oh, don't lose it, dude. You could so easily have had the numbers here. Don't lose it, please. Oh, no. He needs... He also has Vils. He could still... Oh, Japanese! He still got it! He still got it! There's no way, right? There's no way. Come on, Q. Q, Q. You still got 17 barracks. Come on, bro. I, I gotta calm down. I don't want to get my hopes up. I don't want you to get your hopes up. This should not be winnable for Red. It should not be, okay? So just don't even get excited. Don't allow yourself to get excited about this. But Red is now producing more champions. And this army is hunting down Red, who is in Gray's castle. Now, Gray's gather point is set over here. Okay. And Sully says, use bomber cannon and champ to quickly get wonder. I'm holding left side of castle. Left side of castle? Left side of castle? What? Red, a little late here, buddy. Uh, he says, uh, can one of y'all attack the other? Maybe he has the time now to focus on such things. But I don't think it would have made a difference anyways. To be fair, he did kind of try earlier. Red needs to buy stone right now. He needs to buy stone so he can continue to repair this. You need to make sure that that's full HP. And there he goes. Sally says, I'll kill his king first. Red, run! Red, run! Or sacrifice one king, bro! Sacrifice one king. Run away. Please. Please, I want you to do this. You can do this. Run. He'll lose one. The other one survived. Run! Run away! Run away! Run! Bro! 
Oh, dude. Oh. That was so close. Sorry for the weird noises. I couldn't help myself. But what a great game. What a great game. Like, Red had such a rough start. Such a rough start. Guys, I think... If he is able to get away with one king there, maybe he can do it. Maybe. It's still a big if. Ugh. Sully says, allied victory. No, you'd be dead to, to half my chat. He says, Sally. I love how Sally knows that you just physically can't. He says, we can't. It's last man standing. We, e we either have to fight it out or one of us has to yield to the other. <laughs> Oh god, Sally, never change. Oh man. Everett with 10 gifted subs. Thank you for that. Thank you, thank you. Hey guys, if you're watching right now and you're not subbed, you go to your notifications. It, it, if you received it, it'll say something like accept this gifted sub. Just FYI. Because uh, on this platform, it goes to the people who are like actively watching, as far as we're aware. Instead of just people who are in the follower list. But you do have to accept it. Um, stop butchering my name. I'm sorry, but you know me, right? That's just... Everett... Bl bl I, I'm gonna keep it at Everett, okay? I'm gonna keep it at Everett. And <laughs> so at least says, may the best man win. So there's only one king for Sally. That I think that's the biggest deal right now. Because he sacrificed his king to take out those towers. And the only king he has is in the TC. Two hours, 41 minutes. Could Red have held on if he kept his kings alive? Well played, Red, by the way. I mean, there were a few players in this game who I think were a little bit overwhelmed. It was a stressful time, and Red somehow got out of it. It, it was not the dream finish, but I still think he'll be very pleased with how this game went. And here come the engagements now, and oh god, Sally. Sally's bombard cannons are just going to get wiped. And Sully is sending a king forward because he has three, my friends. Because he has three. I don't know if Red could have kept his king alive. Yeah, exactly. I think... I mean, he could have made a run for it. I think the key was he uses one of his kings to detonate and kill that whole army that was, that was chasing him. And then the other one could stay in that castle for a while longer, right? So you detonate with the one king away from your castle... And then the other one stays in the castle. And then maybe it takes too long for Sally to show up. And if Sally shows up again, then you can run. Hey, here comes a kink. Don't detonate it next to the edge of the map, man. Oh, he's trying to... Guys, he's trying to run under the gate. Watch this. He's a pro. Ready? He's going to run under the gate because he sees the trade is going. Um, as I said, he's an absolute beast. Okay. So... There's actually no kings inside of these castles. It was an ambitious attempt from Sully. I don't think the castles go down, though, right? So I think... I mean, I don't hate this, actually. I, I really don't hate this. But it might actually be better off to save those explosions versus armies. Or versus standard production buildings, like, uh, like barracks or stables, towers like Red had earlier. Obviously, in standard Exploding Kings, a lot of stuff would have gone down there. Whoa, it's like every fortified wall down to its final... It was down to 52 HP? Wow, that's pretty crazy. I've never seen so many red walls like that. Anyways, big fight here. Here are the Bomber Cannons, and here are the Ratsens. I don't know if you guys picked up on this, but Sally... Or Sally, excuse me, is 34 Vils, apparently. And is trying to make more in the center. Um, but yeah, it's an out-and-out -out battle right now. Both players have res, and both players have fight. I would personally prefer to have the Vietnamese, though. I think Rattan Archers and Elephant are just not possible for Huns to stop. In fact, what do Huns make against Rattans? I guess Paladins, right? Still, though. 450, 420 HP Elephants. Paladin's got 180 HP, so if you do the math, you have three, four, four. Okay, so it's like two and a half Paladins, one elephant. Though mobility is an issue. 
Mobility is definitely a big issue. I think what helps Sally as well is that he's got so many castles. And he's got flags on almost every one. So it's really hard for Sally to know where to look. And he also might not know the uh, number of kings that Sally has. Sully did start off the game with Tarkin, so he could do that. And just go around sniping stuff. Yeah, that would be the play, actually. But I think he should detonate a king somewhere near here, and I think he should try and kill this. Like, wait for an army. And maybe, maybe I'm thinking too much, but have the army ready to swoop in back here. Detonate a king here. And then if he runs, he runs right into your army, and he has to leave. He has to leave the area or he loses everything. He said rams, paladins, everything still pushing this area. It's not that Sully doesn't have the army. It's that the army is not addressing this just yet. And actually, look at this. I think he had this down near red. He could, he could maybe kill all those bomber cannons. Also still making a little bit of a push. He comes in... Bomber cannons are protected. Well done here. Well done from both players. The elephants patrolled into a farm though, so it, it definitely is not the meat shield that he would have wanted here. Those bomber cannons will be extremely vulnerable against new army. And yeah, quite a few of them going down. One castle went down already. You know how Sally regrouping his units to protect himself here though, so I don't think more castles will fall. This is like a death match right now. Post in, both players with crazy cues. Separate sides of the map. And two kings for Sully. Am I right on that? Oh, wow. It's about to be one. <laughs> Guys, he's sending one forward. Um, now, if he weakens a couple of these castles before the explosion, it could end up working out. Remember, it's in the TC. Or what? Hold on. It was in the TC. It's now in Green's TC! The most peaceful player in the game. I love the random farm here. For, like, that villager needs a job. Let's give her a job. This is actually a great detonation coming up. He cleared this. Uh, actually, he didn't. There's more, but... He cleared the initial army. And he's now going to get in as close as possible with his king. And then he should run away with his paladins. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, yeah, run away. Oh, that's incredible. So I think this castle and this castle go down. This castle will then be weakened. I don't think this one gets ranged. That was so well done from Sully, and it was a lot better than the first time. First time he was trying to be too cute. That would have been an epic highlight, right? Going for the plays, and wow. What? This castle doesn't... What? That castle's at 156 HP. Sally will probably shoot up the 200 pop faster than you think, but he doesn't have anything to protect his base anymore. All right. Cool stuff. Castle should go down to the Paladins. The walls are down to low HP again, which looks amazing, actually. And then over here, you've still got this massive group of elephants and the Rattans to deal with. And the thing is, this composition just chews. This composition is disgusting. Didn't attack the castle. I, I would personally just try and take out the castles. Because of how important they are. Will he see that this one's on 156 HP? Uh, probably not, because he's focused on this. Sully is running out of gold. Sally is not. Sally's got massive waves of units running forward, and he's got Siege to back it up. Look at this. This is a crazy train of units. And this seems all... I mean, okay, you take out the castle, but it seems like there's not anything significant to back it up. This castle will get repaired. Uh-oh, Sully. Hey, what's up, Orange Day? Welcome. Welcome. Oh, man. Uh, he was trying to maneuver properly. Uh, I think he's done as good as he can be expected to do while being raided at the same time. Whoops. Yeah, will he know that's there? Isn't he allied with... Oh, my God, wait. He's allied with green. 
I doubt he'll think of it. But if he were to take a look over here, he could he will know that green is dead and he will see a flag. But you're not going to look at it when you're doing all of this. You're just not. There's the cab archers running through the reinforcements. Uh, to Grandma's house we go. Okay, continuing to move. Good. Anonymous frying pan? I don't know. It's. I have to say your username is incredible. Uh, I don't think it's fair at all to say that Sully and Sally are boring when they've had such an incredible game. <laughs> like, I don't think it's fair. You could, you could, maybe if you're rooting for Red, you know, uh, you could be upset that they attacked him, but they had to because he had the wonder. So I guess it was more reactionary. And this has been a really good game. I think it was kind of meh in the middle of this game. And then when Blue decided to attack Yellow was when it got really good. Now both players are just going at it, man. It's a really good game. I don't like how they teamed up the lower player. I imagine that's probably why some like that frying pan said boring, but I, I don't think boring is the right word. You could say bully, <laughs> potentially. But I also don't know if you could really argue like that decision got them exactly where they wanted to be, right? Exactly where they wanted to be. And that is here. That is the final two. That isn't a crazy finish for the win. This is another castle that will go down for Sally. Sally doesn't have many castles. Uh, he's got castles. Never mind. And Sully holds. He's making Hussars. He's making Halbs. Ideally, Hussars go onto the Rattans and then Halbs go onto the Elephants. But usually... Just going to see the Rattans behind everything. Mopping it up. No Siege Ram for Vietnamese, thank God. So it does take them a while to siege down things. No trade. He just deleted his trade cards. He had no one to trade with. So no trade there. Red's still trading, which is kind of funny. Even though he's dead. And in Sully's mind, this king has got to be in one of these castles. He will never expect it's in that TC. And he's got to be worried that he's going to die, baby. And I, like... I don't know. Is it maybe Sally running out of food that becomes the problem first? He does have 100 villagers queued. Which is probably why he doesn't have food. But still, I mean... I'm not sure who's going to run out of resources first. And just as I thought that Sully was going to crumble able to push back having 90 on food means he can make quite a few hussars and quite a few halves as well with that wood count i don't know if we've seen quite a back and forth finish to a community game like this this is like a crazy 1v1 right now but i i still keep thinking that the gold counts extremely high for sally his army comp is better i i think the army comp is better. Yeah, Pratty, the, the, some players take risks to upset the balance of power. Other people form the balance of power. Sully took big risks in this game before really any alliances to, to kill some people. Sally likes... Sally's a back-and-forth structured Diplo player. So I, I think this game has worked out exactly how they kind of both want it. Though I do think there was there was a time where, like, really, Blue's going to be kicking himself. Like, oh, man. The second Blue went down, man. He was the guy. He, Blue is, is evidence as to why maybe you shouldn't shake up the balance of power. Because he immediately went down. Sally told him, don't attack Sully. This is not the time. He's not the player you think he is. Like, he's going to be stronger. So we need to hold it out. And he made the move anyways. What was it, like five, ten minutes later ended up dying? We've had really long games today. We just crossed the three-hour mark. Thank you guys for hanging with me. Again, as an update, Sully's got three kings. No, no, one now. What am I talking about? Everyone started with three kings. They each have one. Sully's is at home, backed by quite a few production buildings. I don't know. I think at one point he made these buildings to block stuff, because that's kind of random. Anyways, um... 
His king is here. And still, Sully's looking for this freaking king. And you can't research treason. So he must think the king is over here somewhere. By the way, that is such an unnecessary risk for Sally. There is absolutely no reason to take this risk. You've got army. You're winning fights. Or at least it's 50-50. Keep your king protected. But I like a little bit of risk with my community games. A little bit of spice. Can't wait to see the KD for this one. Especially with, with the kings getting kills. I can't imagine what the KD is. But oh my goodness. The elephants just eat. We did go random Civ for this game, FYI. I wouldn't say Vietnamese were the best Civ in the game, either. But certainly right now, they're looking really, really strong. 15,000 gold now. But you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing fewer stables for Sully. So he has to remake more buildings. I'm seeing fewer barracks, so he's got to remake those as well. And I'm seeing desperation from him with this army. He's at 130 pop. He doesn't, he's not even close to 200 anymore. He doesn't have any way to threaten Sally. Sally's growing closer and closer. Oh, close. Oh, yeah, the KD's right here. I'm dumb. Um, wow. They both have 2,500 kills right now. Their Sally's KD, I think, is really showing is how good those fights have been for him. Oh man, it, it, it's this game has gone on for so long, we almost forget that some of these players existed. No offense to them, of course. But there's just been so many different chapters, so many different stages of this game. Some people feel like this is how Age of Empires is meant to be played. A couple hour long slog, you know? Especially in the good old days, back when there was a lot of lag and everyone sucked. <laughs> I know a lot of people still play the game from time to time like that. They'll just spend all, all evening on it. You know, just one game. Don't attack until everyone's ready. Make all your coolest units. Make a lot of castles and towers. Yeah, there's one dot of purple, and that was a, a mining camp that he placed. That was about it. Green was close to winning with a wonder victory. Red was close to winning with a wonder victory. Why is Sally backing up? Is he scared? Seems to be. And just like that, Sully is up to 200 pop already. Ever with 10 more gifted subs. Thank you again, my friends. And I will continue to say your name as such. E-V-E-R-T is definitely Ever, right? The last name I'm not even going to touch, dude. Last name I'm not even going to touch. Sorry. Oh, he just took a boar! Sally's taking a boar in... At three hours and eight minutes, and he lost a villager doing it. Talk about thinking ahead. I mean, he has been rebooming with villagers, but taking a boar? Bro. We're back in the Dark Age. We've gone full circle now. Here comes Sully, ramming down a blue castle that's been here for a while. Avert. Oh, it's it's Dutch? Ah, Avert. I got Okay, I can remember that. I can definitely remember that. And if I'm Sully, I would go hunting. I'd go scouting, run underneath castles, try and figure out where he's at. Could honestly turn into a full-on raid game, similar to what you'd see in maybe a 1v1 Arabia. Just try and raid the wood lines and such. Um, here comes the push from Sally, though. And honestly, I don't know if he has enough rats and archers here. With the amount of halbs that are showing up, I think the halbs will do pretty well. But if he takes out a castle, it's all worth it. He's got resources to waste, so I think it's worth it if he takes out the castle, and I think he will. More production here from Sally. Adding barracks now on this area, because this is becoming a, a thorn in his side. Castle doesn't go down. Wow. Castle does not go down. Who wins this game, chat? Will this game ever end? Who wins it? No more Diplo, no more chat. It, it has become a battle between giants here. This is epic. Like, I, I'm honestly so pumped that two, two members of the community are playing such an epic 1v1 right now. You think Sally wins it? I, I don't know. 
See, the thing that worries me about Sally now is he used to have 25,000 gold. And he also, I think, is overbooming with Vils a little bit. Like, 84 in post imp feels fine. The thing about Sully is that he's got 130 army space now. And he does have three relics. So he does have more long-term gold income. It almost feels like it all evens out for me. You got more military for Sully, but, but worse military. And Sally says, so quiet. Oh, I thought he was going to say, so quit. Try and get him to quit. And it is pretty quiet right now. So lonely this game has become. That's what happens when you kill off Krakenmeister and the Sheriff, my friend. <laughs> Sally says, except the cries of the wounded on the battlefield. Man, what stamina, what mental stamina you need to make it three hours and 15 minutes in and still be witty. Witty as can be. I don't know if you guys know Sully, but he's got a pretty mis mysterious stash like I do. So I think the wits come with the stash. I'm pretty sure how that goes. I'm upset. I just got here, and I see a three-hour game. Yeah, you're going to want to rewatch some of this one, buddy. Wow. Also, what's so epic for Huns now is that they... Um, so you're never getting housed, right? Because you never have pop space problems. And then your stables produce faster. And he's got so much food to produce Hussar. Do you attack here? Is this is this a play? I'm not really sure. I see bomb his mustache is in, like ridiculous. Like and I mean it in a good way. I would never have the confidence. My girlfriend loves my mustache, but I don't think she could handle that, man. Way too much handlebar. Sully says I hate blue so much. Why does he why do you hate blue? This dude has killed or hurt half my units since he died. <laughs> and blue is still here and blue says, "Hey, frowny face." <laughs> I just love the idea. Okay. Guys, this is what I'm envisioning right now. Like I don't know everyone's life, right? A lot of people are in school, some people are, you know, adult, not not that you can't be in school if you're an adult. Oh god. I'm I'm Insulting my audience. Okay, I just envisioned someone who's in high school, right? And it's a Friday, and before they were supposed to play video games, your parents were like, you gotta do this. He's like, but mom, it's a T90 community game. And she's like, I don't know who T90 is, but whatever. She's like, when you're dead, you have to go do your responsibilities, son. And then Blue dies, and Blue just stays here. <laughs> Watching the screen. Just watching the game. We're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. And he just chimes in every now and then. Just one game, Mom. Um, it is true, though. But also, Sully, at the same time, the guy's been defeated for two hours, bro. Like, I don't know. If, I think you should look in the mirror instead of blaming this on blue. And green's also here. Says, don't worry, I like you. The players who are defeated can talk to each other, but not the people who are alive. 89 pop for... Oh, I thought it was Sally. Whoops. Nope. He's at 189. This is ridiculous, bro. This is ridiculous. Epic game. Epic game. We had instant action with the craziness with red. I don't even know what to title this one. I feel like this needs to be in a season, you know? And we'll have six episodes. We'll release them once a week. I don't know. Just constant. Just constant, but also so different every time. We've had we, we had our time for backstabs. We had the diplo drama. The explosions are finished. If another king goes down, it is game over. And apparently straight Hussar beats everything because they produce so fast. And Sally is running away with this relic right now to take it home and has made a monastery there. Because he realizes he's about to lose this area. Sheriff says, I was supposed to drop my wife off in town. She must have gone by herself. <laughs> this guy didn't even... He died how long ago? And he didn't even go to, like, say anything to her. She's just gone. I love it, Sheriff. I love it. Blues is relatable. All right. Well, 
Mm. You know what they say, if she didn't stay at home to watch community games with you, she's not worth marrying, so you might want to read. No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, of course. I still have two relics in my monastery. No one is taking them, says Green. Yeah, I feel like as we now see Sally thinking twice about this, and Sally's going to bring his king to his base, um, I feel like... Oh, whoa, the timing on that was... Uh, yeah, they should do that. That's what I feel like. Minus 7k? Yeah, maybe. It's just a joke. Let's do a resource update, shall we? 6k gold for Sully. 6k. He's making halves, he's making hussars, and halb hussar is somehow holding on against this crazy army comp. We have 6k gold for Sally, who will have one relic and only one relic, and he's down to 2k food. Feel like it has gotten better for Sully. Not Sally, but Sully, the yellow player. Who now has also found a little bit of freedom to maybe raid the eco, but that's gonna be rather difficult. Yeah, it would be funny. It, it, they have all these resources, but they don't have the resources to make a wonder, right? <laughs> so they can't even do that. Yeesh, man. Uh correct. Vietnamese don't get blast furnace. So they don't get the plus four attack on the halbs. They don't get on the elephants or the champs. It's just sheer numbers here. Like, Sally's mixing up his comp, which many times makes sense. But it's just sheer numbers. And y you can see his gather points are set forward. He's kind of trickling in now. And so the Hussars are still taking pretty good fights. Sully now making stables down here, and I'm, I'm again thinking, as Sully also sees this, re this is funny. <laughs> to get that relic, he needs to kill a hundred champions from red. I, how did he notice that as well? That's that's incredible. Anyways, he's gonna finish these stables. Meanwhile, Sally is stonewalling himself in, so he doesn't get raided. But his lumberjacks, man, his lumberjacks could get hit. What an insane game. I still really wish Red would have detonated one of his kings and we would have seen him fight on a little longer. Eventually, these fights will catch up with you if you're wasting so much food. But for now, he's still got 36k with 56 farmers. And he's got a lot on wood, which is important. Because then he can refresh those farms. I think Sully wins this. Look at the resources now for Sally. I think Sally's dead. Or not dead, but like soon maybe. Uh, Red says blue, boo go away because I guess he's heard about the relics. There's also another relic here. Good awareness now on the mini map to think about that. Love to see the Rams come in here and take this, but I guess you want to make sure that you also can take the relics for yourself. And this main push continues here. A hundred military for Sully. Do you remember the time where Blue said to Sally, hey, we should kill Sully because he's really strong? I think maybe they were correct on that. The Red's probably screaming like, yeah, I told you, I told you, I told you, Sally. Oh man, also, this has been so impressive from both. Sally fixing his eco, adding farm eco, so I don't think he'll run out of food right now. I would have prioritized more Rattan Archer numbers. Get to like 40 Rattans and the rest be elephants or halbs. That's the key. I'm not so sure about 18. 18 doesn't feel super effective. He's got 51 on food. The guy's still fine. This is where the problem comes in, though. If Sully notices this and starts to kill the Lumberjacks... Then the long-term food eco is problematic. I think Sully's actually going to make an actual run into the base, though. Geesh. How much has T90 paid them off for them to stay in-game and keep on chatting so long after they got killed? Two dollar. Two dollar. They can attest to that. Watch. They're going to say something like, Yep, he paid me. And if they're from Europe, I paid him two euros. That's right. Uh... If they're from Canada, nope, I didn't. I didn't pay. That's that's too expensive. But 
Well, we can handle Euros, I guess. Okay, Rattan's at 12 now. He wants more forward barracks, which is good, but probably not good for the time right now. The peanut gallery dead chat is something I wasn't sure I would like when they added spec chat. Okay, I didn't... Sorry, chat. Listen, I didn't know that... I tried to make a joke. Okay, and I didn't know the actual... The difference between the currencies. I'm sorry. No, I don't know the exchange rate. I sit in my office all day and I don't go anywhere else. Don't don't act surprised. Then don't make jokes about stuff you don't know, T90. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry to America's top hat, my fellow Canadians. <laughs> Two U.S. dollars is three, so yay me. There you go, Sheriff. Easy money, buddy. Easy money. By the way, just to be clear, um, I was... I was a joke. I, <laughs> I mean, I could, but that's a slippery slope. I gotta start paying people to stay in here to entertain us? Come on. This dude's sacrificing his, his relationship with his wife for this. <laughs> he doesn't need two dollars. <laughs> Oh, uh, I think this game's gonna end soon. The final king is not in there. As exciting as that would be, the final king is not in there. But you've got pushes from Sully on both sides. Sally is unable, I think, to keep this ca. He's gonna keep the castle up. Actually, he's gonna defend this. He's losing ground on this side though, which will really hurt. But he will actually keep this castle up ever so slightly. The king also doesn't hop out of the town center. I expect a payment next time I'm rigged then. Okay. And Green says, hey, those are my relics. Green upset about the relics. But I, I don't know if I would have done that. Was that not... I think that was Sally who did that? Or, sorry, Sully, excuse me. Sally could always notice that. Let's check army counts right now. About 100. Against... Well, about 100. I guess we just have to subtract... You know, 200 minus however many villagers they have. I... I thought maybe that push would have done it. I think the better approach would have been raid the wood line. Which I guess he's just done. Just kind of keep the guy off of wood. Just like any other game at this point. What's up, Jonas? He says, hi, Chad. Hi, Tristan. Nice to see some comedy games. Nice to have you here. Also, Luke, thanks for the sub. Ah. What a crazy game. This has also been a very long game. This is faster... Or, or sorry, this has gone on longer than some of our Force Nothing games, Chad. Remember, King Update. Sully's King? Inside of his castle. He's got... Two over here, and even more on the left. And Sally says this will soon end. As his king is in here now. Sally's like, what? What do you mean? Peter, thank you for the stars. Thank you, thank you. Sounds good, says Sully. Sully's having some wood problems, and he's placing... <laughs> He's placing a lumber camp here, but the wood's been exploded. <laughs> okay, and he's noticed. Damn it. Oh, how dare you save face. Anyways, there's actually wood here. There's some anyways, so that'll give him some wood. Because again, you need farms to refresh. You need the wood for that, right? So he needs some wood. That'll give him a little over a thousand wood. And Sally says shush, or shush. Last shot. Oh, he's going to make a run for it. Oh, my God. He's going to make a run for it with light cavern elephants. How will that work? Okay, so the positive is Sully has a lot of his military forward right now. And more so here. And Sully, I believe, has... Well, no, he's got a lot of hussars. Oh, my God. He deleted Vils, too, chat. He deleted Vils. He only has 27 Vils. So he's going to have 180 army on the map. And he's just going to go for it. Wow. I mean... 
100 army versus 180 army. I'm no math whiz, but I believe 180 army should win. Now, granted, they have a lot of work to do. There will be castles. There's opportunities for Sully to come home or reinforce, whatever. But he's going to wait for it. He even has some CA here. Can Sally do this? He has a big force going up the gut. And that's kind of been standard, right? Based on how this has worked. I think Sully's a little scared, though. After hearing what he just heard. Like, you didn't need to say this will soon end if you're Sally. Unless you just want to seem epic. That's what he's gone for. Okay, this is Sully's point of view, FYI. Okay, this is Sully's point of view. He's sending all of his army forward. As any sane human would in war. He's now sending villagers forward to get wood, which also makes sense. Now, does Sally attack with something here, or does he just continue to run? I think it's a legitimate move to also kill all these villagers. That is also not a bad play. But if you do that, there might be a little purr, purr and there might be a little signal there on the mini-map. And then he will be notified. Now, as Sully loses pop space, everything over here is going to be queued up, and he's going to make a go for it. But here we go. Sally coming in with a few cav archers, and he's going to go after that castle. Of course, there's double castle here, and he's going to go in for the king. And now, if he could keep the cav archers in a perfect spot, maybe he could do this. And Sully sees it and says, OMG, and he's going to run! He's going to run! He's gonna run! No way! Holy crap, man! Holy crap! The Cav Archers did it! Holy crap, what a finish, bro! What a finish! I feel like... Oh, I was confused by the elephant, excuse me. That is, of course, from the king dying. I feel like it's one of the best snipes within the context of this game that we have seen in a long time. Like, I talked about how this was going to come down to who was going to have the most resources. And Sally just decided, screw that. I'm just going to delete my bills and make an attempt. And maybe it was because of how long this has gone and how little resources were left on the map. Maybe it's because he realized the last 30 minutes he's been struggling, but... Like, my thing is, should that king ever have hopped out of the castle? It's, it lost 300 HP, okay? Um, let's, let's theorize a little bit on maybe what Sully could have done differently. Granted, he plays an amazing game. I think everyone deserves a lot of respect for how they played this, including all the others. And you too, Tactical Tea Time, who ended up dying earlier. But, um, okay, so Yellow's got to bring military back, right? He's got to bring military back. That's going to take a bit. He then has army queued, which it doesn't show now. But he could just try and set gather points here. In theory, he could just, like, click with his castle onto the CA. But it's really hard in the moment when you're stressed out to know that. I think it's safe to say that yellow probably could have come cleared this. Um, and, and, you know, the rest would have been history, but he didn't, he also didn't know in that moment. He thought, oh my God, I'm going to die. Oh my God, I'm going to die. So he thought maybe switching castles would have been the play. And to be honest, I wish we could replay it. The, um, the king was running towards the castle and then kind of doubled back. Did you guys see that? And there's some weird things when you try and garrison and ungarrison times, sometimes with units where they hesitate. But it looked like he had it, and then the king kind of doubled back for half a second, and the Cav Archers got it anyways. So I, I still think Sally deserves a lot of respect for how he played that one and finished it off, and so does Sully. I had a game in uh, Wandering Warriors Cup where I had five villagers in a transport, and I clicked ungarrison on the shoreline three separate times, and my transport ship kept going back like that. And I was thankful to finally get them out right before my transport ship went down and I lost the bills. But, like... Kind of looked like a similar thing there with the king. <laughs> the pathing was a problem there. But there's the KD. Sally with 3,600 kills. He said he was going to finish off Sully. That's what he said. He did it. Sully with 3,300 kills. Um, 
you know, we, we had a lot of different things to talk about in that game. We, of course, had the top two. We had Krakenmeister's amazing journey and eventual potential victory. Um, Sheriff, of course, was kind of hung out to dry, didn't have a lot of teammates. Nanaki was the peaceful player who even has this wonderful, cute little green villager who doesn't seem like he, she'd ever heard a fly. Uh, Adam switched it up. I'm really happy Adam was in this game despite his eventual death because he turned on Sully. He, he, he spiced things up in the mid-game. Then Giovanni and Tactical Tea Time. They were kind of stuck in the south alongside Krakenmeister. And they didn't have any real strong friends, let's just say that. And it was a bit of a problem. I felt bad for them. Um, Sully brought in more wood, food, and stone. Dally, though, had gold. And, uh, I mean, so many crazy statistics to look at. You can see the timeline. You can see how long people dominated. You can see the wonders getting destroyed on there. How often do you see that? Multiple times. The game pretty much had everything. I think we learned a lot in this game. I think we learned about Wonder Victory. We learned about the triple exploding kings. I like it. I think that it could have been used more tactically at times. Maybe people get used to it. And the most important thing that we learned... Oh, yeah, good question. How many resources did Green send? 196,000 resources were sent. 196,000 resources were sent. Wait, also, it looks to me like he sent the exact amounts to each player. Look, 3,700, 3,700, 37, or 37,000, excuse me. I guess Giovanni was dead, so he kind of got shafted. So Green was even committed to the specific amount he was sending. Um... But yes, again, we learned a lot. There was a lot of crazy moments, but the most important thing that we learned there is we can never have Sally and Sully in a community game because I always get their names confused. That or they need new identities. <laughs> Having the, the two players with the most similar names in the same game for four hours was a lot to handle for me. So I hope it wasn't too confusing for you guys. <laughs> it was even confusing for the players in Diplo, but... And GG, those were some crazy games.